Damien Episode 7 Abattoir. This was definitely a crazy episode, especially the ending. The ending was definitely the craziest thing, but there were a couple of different moments in this that were very surprising. Um, Damien, you know, coming off of his crazy um, attempt and the crazy dream that he had, he goes through kind of the motions, which we knew was going to happen from the trailer, but he goes through and everyone in this episode to him is pretty much an enemy. His friends are enemies. His enemies are enemies. Everybody's an enemy to him. And I enjoyed that. I liked that idea. I didn't think it was going to spread to every single person, but he really went, like, full on. He believed every single part of his dream. It was like he felt his notions were right, and he went across the board, I can't trust anyone. So I was kind of surprised by that. I didn't think he would really target every single person, but he did. And, the, you know, there aren't that many people to target anyway, really. <laughs> Excuse me. But... He goes after everybody in this one. It's like his friends are in his apartment, and Simone, she did steal the key, so she's kind of in a in an odd position where he technically has the right to be mad at her. So it, in her position, it's weird. But you know, for everyone else, it's just like this. Well, you know, for Simone and Anne, it's probably only two people, especially for Anne. But you know, two out of the four people, they're fairly innocent. Like his best friend, he's just trying to help him and you know he thinks he's just you know working with Anne and then he goes to talk to John and things get really crazy there like his I don't know who the woman was in relation to him I guess his mother I would assume she hadn't spoken or possibly his wife the way he, he said her first name when he was talking to Anne so I guess that was like his wife but or he possibly sister or something like that but it's like you know she hadn't spoken in years and she fell under Damien's spell and then she gives him quite a few answers because he sneaks into the house and I like that portion, you know, they had it, where it's like, you know, the servant tells lies and stuff, and he's trying to get all these answers, and he finds out about this really weird, like, crazy little ritual place that John has where they sacrifice animals and stuff, which was a pretty gross scene during the episode, but it was something for sure. It was like, you know, he... he has the um the little hatchet and stuff he puts in the sea and i guess that's kind of what prompts john to uh slaughter the creature maybe maybe that was always the plan anyway but it seemed like he was somewhat prompted to do that if i remember right he did you know he did that afterwards but excuse me it was pretty crazy seeing that and it's like this weird sort of slaughterhouse almost and then you know we actually see the ritual and everything but it was a really crazy moment and you know, I don't think it really means that much. It just shows that he's really a lot more involved. I think, you know, as far as Damien's um, perception of him, he does realize that he really is more involved in some of the crazier things than he initially expected. And, you know, I believe John kind of puts it off a lot in this episode. Like, oh, I'm not working with Anne and stuff like that. But then it gets pretty crazy for him. And it's like, hey, Anne, I need you to help me. So he knows that, you know, he, Anne and uh, John are involved. So, I thought that was actually pretty cool. I enjoyed that, you know, him finding this weird little shack and stuff, and then, you know, seeing the ritual and just how deep it really got, because I was surprised, honestly, when they did the rituals, but, it, you know, it was the only thing that really made sense once you see how bloody it is. But it was still crazy to see it, like, they go full out, you know, with the crazy rituals and stuff. So that was very interesting. Um, Simone even had her own little thing where the woman from earlier on in the series... She kind of comes in to contact her, and it's like, I believe you saw the statue bleeding, and I believe, you know, some of this stuff that's been going on is because you're attached to, basically, the Antichrist. Things are weird for you because you're surrounded by a very serious evil. So, I don't know how involved Simone is going to get with that, but that actually has me a little, excuse me, excited. Sorry, I keep coughing and burping. But that has me a little bit excited. I think... Depending on how she wants to take it, like, right now her character is very in the middle. Like, she's very reasonable. She does care about Damien still, but she wants to figure some stuff out. She needs to know what's going on. And even in this episode, you know, she tries to help, you know, them kind of realize, like, hey, when I was in here, which admittedly I stole the keys and I kind of broke in, there were some people that came and ransacked the place, and it freaked me out. But everything, you know, I guess they come back out during his whole um, hospital stay and they fix everything up. And it's like, everything looks perfect. What are you talking about? So 
she's in a really crazy position with stuff, you know, weird stuff happening to her. But depending on how far she really wants to go down this road, which she's gone down pretty far, you know, as of now, we've had this spell where her mother brings in the, uh, like the shaman guy. So that weirdness has already happened, the 666 burning into the notebook and stuff. And, uh, you know, she shows that and she found, you know, all the pictures from before the house or the apartment, you know, got ransacked. All those pictures and how things are really weird and stuff. And uh, she actually sees the woman in this episode. I believe that was who that was supposed to be. That was, that was her. She looks totally different with all, like, the hood and everything. But I believe that was supposed to be her. And she's like, you know, I I know you. Like, I recognize you. I know that it's you. But obviously it was just like, you're the woman from the picture. So it was really weird for the woman. But I liked that moment. I thought that was cool. Like, she's getting further into it. And fortunately now she's been kind of pulled to... Um, kind of really the side of taking down the Antichrist, which I guess is good. I, you know, it's you know, it's the Antichrist, but Damien's also the main character, and he doesn't really want this anyway, so it's like, I don't know. Like I said, I personally want him to get darker just because I think that's more interesting, because the stories are always, I meant to be dark, but I don't want to be. But they, I think they've been doing a good job with it. And then the other the main story of this episode, Shay and his crazy journey... It started off simple enough. It was him just investigating Damien. He's having like the flashbacks with his son and what he saw. And he's going through, he's investigating people. And so we find the guy who's doing the flowers. Seems normal. Um, no big deal. You know, we used to hang out, but not much. Didn't really talk to him antisocial. Damien was, you know, we didn't hang out. And then he goes to the guy who showed up. I believe it was the very first episode that Damien went to for help. And so... He talks to him and he finds out about the ritual for the club. And this guy mentions like, oh, all this weird stuff was always happening. And Damien was actually a pretty dark dude. Like he was actually fairly evil at times. And he bullied the crap out of this guy we saw early on. And then we find out that despite him doing that, his roommate was like somewhat in love with him and infatuated with him and just did whatever he wanted him to do. Even if he was kind of pushed to do it in other ways. He did things because he wanted to for Damien. So it was a very odd relationship that I'm assuming they're going to go into, especially with the way that this episode ended, they're going to go into it a little bit deeper as to how connected this guy truly is to Damien. But we find out that Damien had him go through this little ritual and stuff. And it's supposed to be normal, but like the guy said, weird stuff seems to happen around Damien. Do it as the ritual all the time. You put the oil on you and then it burns off. You know, it, it burns off and then the flames are gone. But instead, with this guy, it burned up his hands. It messed him up. And despite that, you know, burns top half of his body and everything. They have all this weird... They have this little moment where they meet at the end. It's like, okay, they're at the little club and stuff. Guy gets in the shower. It's all slow motion shower and everything. And the dude takes the, the scissors apart. And he just stabs him straight in the back. And it was just a crazy ending scene. And he's just stabbing him in slow motion. Visually, it was very uh, good as far as, like, the way they did it, how he get stabbed and stuff. And it looked realistic, which was kind of crazy to see. But it was a good shot for sure. It was a great use of slow motion, actually, because sometimes it can suck. But that, I thought, was a great use. And the water coming down, and then they'd show the water and how the blood's running down his legs and stuff. And it would mix with the water and get red. Um, I just thought that was good. I visually, I thought it was really good. And... If I remember right, because I did see this uh, when it aired, so I actually did see it a week ago. But if I remember right, he said, like, you know, you shouldn't have said anything or something. So I'm like, I don't even, I couldn't even begin to know what that meant with the way they ended it. Because the whole thing was like, it seemed normal. Like, the guy didn't want to say he knew Damien because he didn't want to be, you know, reminded of that. He already was reminded of it, but he didn't want to jump back in time to one of the worst things that's ever happened to him. Worst moments of his life, really. And it was like, that makes perfect sense. He wouldn't want to talk about that. So he'd keep that secret hidden. And he, you know, it's like, oh, he's investigating Damien. But I don't want to go into full details about something horrible that happened to me. Because I don't like that it happened. I thought that makes perfect sense. You know, it seems normal. Like a normal thing that you would avoid, even if it's the police. And then he flips and kills the guy. And I'm like, I don't even know what to think now. <laughs> like, is he... You know, he's doing it for him, and I guess on the, based on the promo, the, the most recent episode that did come out this week, 
um, that's the guy that he's beating up on the ground. And that was, like, in the promo, I think, before the series even came on. And that was one of the scenes I was waiting for, because that seems like Damien losing his mind, where he's, like, just, like, slamming on the guy on the ground. It seems like that's the guy that he's beating up, based on the promo. Um, it seems like that's going to end up being the guy. So I'm very excited to watch uh, the most recent episode, but... I love the way it ended, because it was a crazy twist, and once again, death per episode, um, but it was a crazy twist, because I really thought it was just a random thing, and I thought, you know, the, the ending would kind of just be, they both lied about talking about Damien, because neither of them really wanted to discuss that, because it's like, well, we were both involved in something pretty messed up, and that's pretty much it, we don't really want to talk about it. I was surprised the guy even brought it up, like, all oh, the cops came to me, I thought he would completely avoid that, but... You know, it was fairly, it seemed normal. It's like, you know, I told, I didn't tell him anything. Oh, me neither. And that was it. I was like, okay, that's, I th already thought it was weird that they're in the same spot anyway. Because when it happened and he's like, oh, I haven't seen you in years. I was like, okay, that's instantly suspicious. Because I just assumed they, you know, both seemed to have money. The guy seemingly, you know, who had the, was cutting the flowers. Seemingly that, you know, they mentioned like that was, I think he says like that was his business or something like that. He clearly had money. So I was like, all right, it makes sense they could both be in the same, like, club or something like that where, you know, they have a membership. But then, when it's like, oh, I haven't seen you in forever, I'm like, okay, now it's weird. <laughs> and then, so that's when it was instantly weird, like, oh, it's not just a normal thing, like, they could run into each other. I haven't seen you in years. So I knew it was suspicious when that first, <laughs> when they said that first line, like, it's been forever. I was like, all right, now something's weird. And then he just stabs the crap out of him he kills him with the scissors um i don't know how he was doing that where he was it was almost like the scissors were magnetic because it looked like it was almost like he had like some crazy secret weapon like he was just tearing them apart and then he just like snapped them back together in like a second it was like boom they're back together so i was like i've never seen that in scissors before normally that's like screwed in like it's scissors are stuck like that you can't just boom and then put them back together so i thought that was interesting it was like Maybe that was the point. Maybe it really was just a magnet. It's meant to look like, oh, it's just scissors, but boom, I can take him apart and stab you if I need to. So that was an interesting little moment. Like, he was prepared, and it was just like, you know, it seemed like he didn't do anything special. It was just like, boom, he ripped him apart, and then he put it together. That was the really special thing. It's like, boom, there's scissors now. So I was like, that's interesting. He was, like, really prepared for that. But it also kind of makes sense, considering, you know, what we see him doing when he's clipping the flowers and stuff, he have something like that or he'd be able to make something like that if he wanted to so definitely a crazy ending um certainly an enjoyable episode in general though i think uh you know i said this before episodes have definitely gotten better uh this is yet another uh good episode and you know john's freaking out and is and is and so i don't who knows who knows how how crazy that's gonna get and now, once again, we have yet another murder, which, of course, Shay was investigating. And poof, you know, both these guys are involved with um, with Damien. And now it's crazy, and one of them has been killed. So we'll see how that plays out. Um, I'm definitely excited for it, but I definitely want to know what you guys thought about this episode. So please comment below. Let me know your favorite parts, your least favorite parts. And, of course, I have to ask what you guys think is going to happen with this Serbian, the Serbian, uh, this servant of Damien, and, you know, what his true cause was for that, because, I mean, obviously, he was trying, he was trying to protect Damien from the cops or whatever, and, you know, maybe he does actually still love him, or he's, you know, crazy, clearly he's, his love is crazy love, because he killed the guy at the end, but it's hard to tell, like, is it his spell, you know, you know, which they kind of mentioned in this episode with, um, the relative of John in the chair, how she doesn't, hasn't spoken for years, but suddenly she has. So is it like his spell is just cast on this guy and it's been that way forever and now it's just resurfaced because obviously this cop is investigating him, which is, if someone's investigating somebody else and they come to you, obviously that something bad is going to happen to that person. So, you know, he knew exactly who to talk to. And, and plus, I think Shay mentioned uh, the guy, if I remember, he probably didn't, because the guy asked him, like, hey, don't mention this, or anything like that, so I can't really remember exactly how it played out, but he probably just knew who to go to, but, 
I don't know. It was interesting. I think it was because he led Shay to that guy, and then Shay came back with more questions. So I think that's how he knew who to go after. But I don't know. I mean, maybe it was the spell the whole time. Maybe it's just the guy himself, and you know what he always thought about Damien. Because the guy does say, you know, I can't remember either of their names, unfortunately. So he's like, both of them are just the guy. But the guy that died does say, like, you know, he loved him, basically. So maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's just mentally he's just lost it. Or it really is, like, a crazy part of, you know, this weird aura and spell that Damien just puts off. And it's just made the guy lose his mind or something. Who knows? But... I definitely want to know your predictions and, of course, what you guys thought about this episode in general. So, like I said, please comment below. Let me know. And thanks for watching.